Hello, my name is Sean Ireland. I am a candidate for Austin City Council Place 6. I was born in Nacogdoches and raised in Kerrville. My ancestor, John S. Roberts, was a signer of the Texas Declaration of Independence. I am a native Texan, and the economics of a living wage has always been a primary concern of mine. My great-grandmother was a sharecropper in San Augustine, sent to the fields to pick cotton at age eight. I myself lived on food stamps as a child. Yet, I am an Eagle Scout, and I have an Ivy League education with a degree in a creative field. I believe creative and abstract thinking is desperately needed in public service. Austin was the most affordable city in Texas. Now it is the least affordable. The root cause? City Council overspends and passes the burden on to you, the taxpayer. Your council found $21 million to subsidize Formula One racetrack and Apple, but when it comes to completing the 290-71 intersection in Oak Hill, they say there's no money. This is beyond hubris. I say stop spending millions paying people to move here and instead spend those tax dollars on the people who already live here. Government must meet the tax base, not raise taxes to meet the government. Perhaps the reason our neighborhood infrastructure is neglected is because five of six council members live within a single six-mile drive through Hyde Park in downtown. If you live there, this isn't a critique on you. This is an indictment of an antiquated election system. Austin has become too diverse for the at-large council system. I support 10-1. Ten single member districts. The system is so broken that our African American and Latino communities must rely on gentlemen's agreements and fight citywide just to have someone on the council. Our minority communities deserve the right to have their own district and choose from their neighbors a champion to represent their unique issues in City Hall. But unrepresented communities are not all ethnic. I live in South Austin. 40% of Austin's population lives south of the river. We have urban sprawl, traffic, crumbling infrastructure, and bills to pay, but not a single city council member lives in South Austin, nor in North Austin. Let's talk about government accountability. The biggest issue of the past year was the electric utility increase. After a year of debate, city council was scheduled to take a March 1st vote on this important issue. But City Council deliberately delayed the final vote until after the election. Delaying votes during an election year? Is that how accountable government behaves? You deserve a council capable of making difficult decisions regardless of election cycles. The facts are, your electric bill is inflated due to an added stealth tax. These fees pay for city programs that have nothing to do with electricity. Water bills skyrocket because the city doesn't replace broken water mains that leak four billion gallons of water a year. My goal is to begin replacing old infrastructure and removing stealth taxes from your water and electric bills. This, coupled with eliminating corporate giveaways, would decrease the cost of living. This returning hundreds of millions of dollars back to Austin residents, who will in turn spend that money in Austin, helping families and small businesses alike, and boost sales tax revenue. This increase in revenue would allow the council to make serious cuts to the budget. I would like to see Austin's internal finances self-sufficient enough so that we could eliminate the need for city property taxes. I realize that you voted for these incumbents, but new public servants and new ideas must take priority on May 12th because Austin literally cannot afford to re-elect the status quo. Austin must turn the page and look to the future. Austin has never been about who you are or where you've been. Austin is about what you can be and who you will be, and if you elect me as your new councilman, I will fight for you to become more prosperous, financially, socially, the environment, and your civil liberties I will defend. I'm ready to be your public servant and to be a good steward for Austin. I welcome your support and ask for your vote. Thank you.